Here's the control valve, that turns the gas on or off. The gas is currently turned off and everything is present and correct. Obviously uh, quite a lot of spider activity in here. Um, but no, the fireplace is fine, it's all to code, everything's excellent. We're going to inspect the uh, electrical panel. Uh, what we're looking for is it's correctly constructed. Uh, in here we've got uh, two um, arc fault detectors. These are basically to protect you if you get uh, slots fires happening basically. So we've taken the cover off the panel, we're looking at the wire sizes, they're all correct. We're looking at the uh, ground and the neutral, are they floating? They are. Yep, this is good. Nothing wrong with this uh, installation at all. We're now going to inspect the irrigation system. Uh, we're going to run it on manual stations. And the run time is set at five minutes. And turn it to run. And the units come on. Okay. We have spray heads. Okay, we're on the side here. The spray head is actually pointing in totally the wrong direction. It's going to water the drive rather than the grade. These ones are working fine. Fine misters. Lots of water. So, we're fine. We're going to test the next zone. Testing zone two. Heads are coming up. No broken heads. Oops. But we have a ground leak. You see here, the water's coming from beneath the brain and needs to be fixed. So there's a leak, ground leak, on zone two at one of the heads. We're testing zone three. It's going to be on the right hand elevation. Zone three heads all operating. Everything's fine. We're now testing zone four. Okay, zone four. Heads are operating. All the way around. No broken heads. We're now running zone five. Zone 5 heads are up and running and covering the yard. All's fine here. Now running zone 6. Zone 6 heads are all up and running. That's working fine. This is a summary of the inspection. Um, it went pretty well. Uh, not uh, a great deal to, uh, to be worried about. Uh, we found a couple of cracks in the foundation and uh, they, they should be watched and monitored. They're very common, actually, cracks in foundations. Uh, most times you don't see them. They're covered up by carpets or they are not. They don't extend to the actual edge of the foundation, which these do. Uh, and those two cracks are on the right, le uh, right elevation, side elevation. The rear yard is not graded correctly. Again, that's not uncommon. Um, it, it, it's, it, it happens all the time. Uh, but I don't think there will be any problem from it. It certainly wasn't wet. Um, 
we have had rain in the last couple of weeks uh, and, it, and it's not, not showing it's soaked up there. Um, if you do get an issue with it in the future you might consider putting in uh, French drains uh, but I, I think it's going to be fine. There was some issue about the roof and I examined the roof closely and the first thing I have to tell you is that it's very difficult to tell that a roof has been damaged necessarily by hail unless it leaves a physical uh, mark. There were no uh, large amounts of physical marks, indentations in the roof. Now that doesn't actually mean in itself that there hasn't been some damage because when hail hits the roof it can indent it but the roof shingle springs back and only when it heats up in the hot summer do we see the damage occurring then because when it heats up the area where the hail hits uh, actually melts and, 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 the, and the tar melts away from the fabric and you end up getting an indentation. Now we have had some hot weather and there are not indentations but that doesn't mean to say that it hasn't been. You should check with the seller, uh, specifically ask them what is the, the history of the roof. Inside the house we found the dishwasher really in, not in good condition, uh, a lot of rust around the basket, um, it by and large ran, it worked, but it didn't heat. At the end of the cycle it's supposed to dry and the heat is supposed to come on, uh, that didn't, that did not work. Um, in the master bedroom there is a forked window, the seal is broken, uh, there's nothing you can really do about that other than replace it, so that's something that needs to be replaced. And then finally we've got the water heater. Uh, the water heater is uh, actually incorrectly installed, it's missing the safety pan, uh, so if it water leaks out it's actually going to leak into the garage itself or it could possibly leak into the house and that's not a good thing. In addition to that the temperature pressure relief valve drain line has been disconnected from the outlet so it doesn't go to the outside world, it actually drains into the garage and it floods the place with water. Uh, that, that needs to be fixed, that's quite dangerous if it was to go off and somebody was standing there they could easily get burned by the hot steam that comes out. So in summary, uh, yeah pretty good house, uh, that looks nice uh, all the way around in terms of the uh, structure and its condition so I, I'm, I'm very pleased to be able to report that. Um, uh, and if, if you've got any questions about the report, please don't hesitate to call me. Uh, you can get me on uh, 972 832 3460, or alternatively, you can drop me an email mark.elliot at yellowhatinspections.com. And of course, I have a website which is yellowhatinspections.com. And if you've found this inspection to be uh, good for you and, and it's helped you make a decision about the house, please don't, uh, please, please refer me to other people. Referrals are the lifeblood of my business. It's how I get more business and how I build the business. Without referrals, um, you know, I, I, I don't get a lot of business. So anything that you can do and say to help me, I'd be very grateful for. I'm certainly thankful for all the business today, and I do hope that you'll be very happy in your new home. Bye-bye.